Hey folks, John back here in the kitchen. I'm just not cooking, not cooking tonight because I actually found this. My wife and I found this in Costco. I think there was a lot of Filipinos there that was trying to check it out. I mean, you can see, it's pre-cooked, by the way. It says right here. Yeah, it's fully cooked, uh, family-inspired recipe. And it's actually a product of, so it, this is Canadian. It uh, came from Canada. Uh, so there's probably, yeah, there's two uh, packages in here. There's one on each end. And yeah, I was looking at it at the store and it was, yeah, I was. I would say it's it's uh, they they pre-fried it. Uh, so all we have to do is warm it up. So let's let's check it out. It actually has a sauce right there. I was gonna make my own sauce, as I usually do when we have our uh, lumpia, but um, I'll try the sauce out too, and um, I'll report back and let you guys know how it is. So once you open the package, there's Again, there's two of them right here. And the sauce is at the bottom. So we'll take that out before we uh, throw this in the, I'm just gonna put it in the, the fry over the oven. Heating instructions, 375, put it in a baking pan, remove and let stand for, mm, you have to heat it for 18 minutes and you have to let it stand for two because it's gonna be hot. Serve with sweet chili sauce. Mm. Let's go. So the uh, pieces of the lupia is actually pretty big. It's about two and a half to three inches long, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty thick. So you get ten lupias in that one package. So you get twenty. And let me see how much it is. So my wife just reminded me to tell you guys that um, the ingredients of this is your typical pork, carrots, cabbage, cabbage. So it's not typical. Uh, soy, flour, water, garlic, celery, celery, soy sauce, onion, salt, cornstarch, sugar, granulated garlic, canola oil, sesame oil, so atypical, it's, it's not, they say it's Filipino style, but usually what we put in, at least when I cook it, yeah, I use pork, ground pork. I also use shrimp uh, with mine. Yes, I put carrots, I don't put cabbage. Uh, I don't put any uh, soy flour, anything like that. Uh, garlic powder and granulated garlic. I use salt and pepper, uh, but that's about it. They, they seem to have a little more uh, ingredients. All right, I just pulled it out of the oven uh, or air fryer and it didn't, in the um, directions, it didn't say to turn. So it's still kind of lighter at the bottom. So I am going to turn these and then I'm gonna put them in again for a few, like a couple of minutes. But it looks crispy. So there you go. I'm just going to turn these and uh, put them back in. Here it is. Or here they are. All 10 of them just came out of the air fryer. And the, I haven't tasted it yet. But the good thing is it's not greasy. I mean, it's, you know, when you hold it, obviously, because it's, it's been deep fried, you're going to get a little, you know, a little bit of oil in. But it's not like dripping with oil. So in that regard, it's great. And then obviously I got the sauce right here that they provided. So here we go, let's try it out. Oh, by the way, they don't mention, uh, as I said, right? Uh, make sure you, maybe you can make an adjustment. It's 18 minutes, maybe halfway through, flip it over because they don't say to flip it over in the direction. So if you're gonna buy this, uh, just, remember to kind of flick otherwise it's going to be lighter on on the other side obviously it's been cooked or pre-cooked so you know it should it should be okay as is but again I, I don't know I just like the uniformity of the color 
So here we go. Let's uh, let's taste this. Mm. It's not bad. <laughs> And to be fair, I can taste a little bit of that. They, you know, they say it's Filipino style. I can taste a little bit of that, but I think they're what they're missing. One missing key ingredient in this lumpia, onions. There's no onions. It's, you can taste a little bit of the garlic. Um, the good thing, it's not dry, right? But the, and it's crispy. It, it doesn't fall apart, which is good. Oh, sorry. Again, it's missing. I don't know, for, for people that don't like onions, maybe that'll work. But for me, I love that. And I grew up with that taste. Uh, that, you know, that, that oniony taste. Not so much garlic, but onion. And it's, there's no onion in this thing. Um, but I mean, it's, it's okay. It's fine. And somebody mentioned on the, on the uh, Facebook page, the, the Costco fa Facebook page that I'm, that I follow because I posted, you know, obviously where I found it and where we bought it. Plus the, I got I gotta say something about the sauce because I'm I for one, and this is a personal choice, and it's 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 me more than anything else. I really don't like very very sweet sauces, and this sauce is very sweet. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Thai chili sauces, uh, same color, right? That that orange. Uh, there's no I, I'm I love more of a sweet and sour taste uh, again that's what I'm used to and that's what I usually make that's why I usually make my own sauce anyway uh, but the sauce is not bad if you like it really sweet and this is really sweet uh, again all in all in a pinch why not you know it, it's good keep it in the fridge keep it frozen um, you know you don't have anything to snack on or you don't have anything for dinner maybe you can throw it in the um, air fryer but you know it's not it, again it's not bad I would say this is more Vietnamese style without the noodles inside so hey there's an idea maybe we can you know grab some lettuce and just wrap it uh, it'll probably taste great hmm so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you got something out of that. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, it's you know, nothing really wrong with the taste. Um, but it's not what I'm used to. That, that's all it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. And, you know, please do uh, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Because I, I, I usually, when I, especially Costco, when I go to Costco, I'll usually, um, you know, go through the aisles with my wife and she's usually the one that kind of points out hey that's new or this is new so i like trying out stuff um so again guys thank you for watching this is john foodie a1c hope you have a good one peace i'm out